Our local jails have been hit hard by the COVID-19 outbreak, and tonight the seven investigators are exposing a huge disparity among how our county jails are testing for the virus. Seven investigator Ross Jones is live tonight with the very latest for us. Ross. Carolyn, good evening. We know that a large number of people with COVID-19 simply show no symptoms. That's why getting tested is so important. But in our tri-county jails, we found tonight that while some of them are testing a lot of people, others are barely testing anyone. We started testing uh, uh, inmates that had symptoms, um, but after we've got all those done, we started randomly testing. Since the COVID-19 outbreak began in March, the Oakland County Jail has seen 41 of its inmates test positive for the virus. That sounds like a lot, and it is, but it's because Oakland County has tested more than any other jail. Eventually, we'll probably test everybody, um, but uh, our goal is to, to stop this thing from spreading. To date, they've tested 292 inmates, about half of the jail's total population. Oakland County's approach is as aggressive as it is rare. In Wayne County, its jails have been devastated by the coronavirus, with 196 jail employees testing positive and two dying. Of its 834 inmates, Wayne County has tested just 90 of them. And of tests that have been returned so far, almost half have tested positive. Despite our repeated requests, Sheriff Benny Napoleon's office made no one available for an interview. Oakland County has tested three times as many inmates as Wayne County has. Is that all right with you? No, it's, it's not all right with me. Monique Baker McCormick is a Wayne County commissioner. For the safety of everyone in the county's jails, including staff, she's calling for every inmate to be tested. We know that there are, in a lot of cases, people that are walking around asymptomatic. I'm not really sure why uh, Oakland County is getting resources and testing kits uh, when we're, we're not in Wayne County. And in Macomb County, the sheriff there reports testing even less. Just 12 of its 285 inmates have been tested for COVID-19. Five so far are positive. Sheriff Anthony Wickersham would not agree to an interview for this story, but said by text there are no plans to test inmates who don't show symptoms. Now here is the late breaking good news out of Wayne County. County Executive Warren Evans' office told me about two hours ago that they just recently received grant funding and in a partnership with Wayne State University will begin testing every Wayne County inmate starting on Monday, whether they have symptoms for COVID-19 or not. By the end of the next week, they hope to have all 800 or so inmates tested, again, whether or not they have symptoms. We're live in Detroit. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Wow, Ross, certainly some good news there. Thank you so much.